everybody, it's time for our next class and it is our bite size strength. I'm going to do arms. So we're trying to get a bit of arm tone. That's the plan. When we do this class, we're also working on chest and back and core. So if you think it's just arms, no, it's going to work the whole, whole caboodle. And um, so you'll need ideally a chair. If you've not got a chair, it's okay. Don't worry, we can do without. Hand weights, ideally, but again, if you haven't got hand weights, either use some tins or just don't bother it, it's fine, we can still make you work. And I've got one kilogram weight, but you might want to go heavy, you might want to go light. Good morning, Kaz again. Good morning, Carol. So everybody, we've got six, one, two, three, six exercises. We're going to try and do them twice through. Um, it's up to you how hard you work. We're going to do them for about 40 seconds-ish, and then have a break, and then do the next exercise. If there's an exercise that I say to do and you go, oh no, I hate that, I'm not doing that one. Just do the one before, make up something, do something different. You don't have to stick with exactly what I'm doing. We've got Mary, hello Mary. Hello Carol, hello Sam, hello Christine. Hello Elizabeth, gonna give it a try. Well done Elizabeth, you've got good strong arms. Uh, we have got, who else is there? Oh, Alison, hello Alison, Felicia. So welcome everybody. And um, if you've got bad elbows, bad shoulders, you can do most of these exercises, just do them with lighter weights or do them on the low options that I give you. Right, we're going to go, hello Leslie, good morning. You can do them sitting down, Leslie, absolutely. Still can't do your arms, Anne-Marie, I know. Oh, you poor thing, so frustrating when you have an injury. Right, we're going to get going. First one's press-ups, so options. Easier press-up version, if you've got a wall, you've got a wall, but if you imagine that was a wall there, and you basically push in and out with your body into the wall, that's the easiest option. Next option, we can use a chair. Oh, this one is easy, isn't it? And we're gonna do it like that, and the harder option's on the floor. So I'm gonna do the floor, but I might chicken out and do the chair in a minute. Are you ready? Hello, Carol. Are you steady? It goes my timer. So press-ups of whatever variety you're going to do. Hands nice and wide if you're on the floor. Okay, we're going to do eight, then have a little rest. We're going to go eight, push, seven. So whichever one you're choosing, check me you're pulling your toe muscles in. Four, three, two. And then have a little sit back, little rest. When you come back, if you're on the floor, I want your hands in a triangle shape, yeah? Okay, here we go. Eight again. There's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Sit back, little stretch. Oh, back to normal position for the last four. Four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, excellent. Well done. Next one is hill climber. It's on our knees again. Oh, horrible. So, if you're using a chair, lean forward and just lift your knees up and down. If you're on the floor, off we go. So, we're bringing a knee in. I'm keeping my body weight on my extended arms. You could be on your elbows, but you wouldn't be able to move your knees much. But you could just balance on your elbows. Now, hill climb is a devil. It gets our heart rate up really quickly. So have a little rest, have a little stretch, back we go. So knee coming in, I'm trying not to wobble my upper body about. So yes, this is working our legs as well, and our hearts, but mainly this is shoulders and arms. Last four, three, two, one. Oh, it's tough, isn't it? Give those arms a shake out. Tricep dips. I'm going to use the chair. You can do them on the floor. Floor option. Or up in your chair. Okay, eight and a rest. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Sit back and have a rest if you want one. Option for this. Push your hands back. That's your triceps extension. You could use a weight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, come on. Three, two, one. 
Oh, my arms are going. Oh. Next one's a Madonna dip. Option for this if you can't do it. Give me some bicep curls. Give me some overhead presses. You're going to be doing those twice. Madonna dip. Legs are back. You're going to twist and twist. So it's like you're trying to take your hip down towards the chair. Here we go. Twist. Now I need you, everybody, to put in your tummy muscles. Breathe. It's easier with slidey feet. I'm having to kind of walk my toes around. So this is tough on those shoulders. Option, give me some bicep curls. Maybe go back and give me some more press-ups. That's it, gone. We can keep going. Doing us the world of good, everybody. I find when I'm doing something really hard like this, helps to focus on the outcome. The outcome is stronger arms, more toned arms. Last two, last one. Oh. Right, pick up those weights. There they are. And we're going to do a little bit of overhead press. So, feet hip width apart. Hands here on your shoulders. Push up, bring it down. So I'm really pushing up, but look, it's slightly diagonal, yeah? So I'm not trying to get right over my head. Bring your feet closer if you're standing, one at a time. Now pull your feet closer to make you a bit more wobbly. If it's too much for you, take your feet back together again. Both arms. Push. Excellent. Hold it here for me. Little pet decks. In, out. We're not going to shake it all about though. Go on, last four. Four, three, two, last one. Oh, burning. <laughs> Try um, lat raises next. So we're going to, oh, let's do flies. So we're going to lean slightly forwards. Hands are here, looking at the floor. Going to bring the arms up, take them down. If you can't lean forward, you can do it there. It's not quite as good, but it works. Here we go. Lift, lower. I want you to put your tummy muscles in, everybody. Breathe. One arm at a time. Up, then the other. Don't rotate your chest. Keep pointing your chest straight down towards the floor. Yes, keep going. Let's do two at the same time. Here we go. Lift. We've almost finished our first set, everybody. We're doing two sets, by which time we'll all need a coffee. <laughs> Keep going. Go on, last four. Last three, last two, last one. Oh, I always get a bit of a stiff neck when I'm doing that one, so I'm just gonna do that with my neck. If your stiff neck was horrible, next time we'll do the standing. Okay, are you ready? Quick slurp of your drink. Oh. It doesn't get any easier arm work, that's the thing. <laughs> it, you get good effect, but it never seems to get easy. We're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to go back to, more volume actually. We're going to go back to our press ups. Remember the, oh, oh hang on, reset. I think it was in there. Start, start. There we go. Remember, you can use the wall, you can use the seat. What about I'll do the seat this time? So, knees back, yeah? Hands are in a comfortable position. Eight press ups, here we go. Eight. So I'm going quite low. My hands are sort elbows are sticking out quite wide. That's because of the width of the chair. Three, last two. Last one. Have a little rest. So it's quite good to change things, not always in the same way. If you're using a chair, how about this time? Take your knees off the floor. Let's go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, tough. Last four. Here we go. Four, three, two, last one. So just give you a bit of equipment can really make it different. Hill climber. How about using the chair as a hill climber this time? Who wants to have a go at that one? Yeah? So, feet back onto your toes. Here we go. So, lift back. So, this is more um, 
kind to your shoulders. Um, but it's still a nice support. You're still working those arms. If you're on the floor doing hill climber, well done. You can always join me with a chair. Any fancy change? Good work. Can I do some more? Lift back. I'm breathing. My arms are working hard. I can feel them. So even though this is easier than the floor, it's not that much easier. And again, can we try and do four more? Come on, we can do it. Four, three, two, last one. Oh. And it changes the part of your shoulders that you work. If you always do it the same way, you'll always get the same result. If Madonna dips this time, remember the Madonna dip? Okay, so if you don't like it, give me some bicep curls. Give me some raises to the side. Here we go. We're going to dip. Dip. So I'm going quick to begin with. Little quick ones. Yes. And then let's slow it down. And things like changing the rhythm, changing the pace is a good idea because it means that your arms have to keep adapting. Quick ones. Last four. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, burning, burning arms. Shake them out. Grab hold of your weight. Go on the overhead press. So I'm going to go wide feet this time for change. Hands here. One arm. Other one. Both together. And again. One arm. Other one. Both together. Same thing, but forwards. One arm. One arm. Both together. Yes. So just changing it a little bit gets different parts of the shoulder girdle, different parts of the arm working. This is going to get our core working a bit more because the way the arms are pushing out in front. And again, push. Push. Both arms. Go on, give me two more. Last two. Last one. Ooh. So my neck's feeling a bit stiff now. So instead of leaning forward on the flies, I'm going to do a Standing lat raise instead. You can do whatever you want to. Be comfortable. Here we go. Lift down. Breathe, everybody. One arm. Other arm. Both together twice. We're almost there. Everyone's going, thank goodness for that. My arms are killing me. <laughs> I'm going to lean forward for a couple. One, one, two. And that just gets into those shoulders, into the back a little bit more. And you're working against gravity a bit more intensely. You bring yourself back up again. One. So just mixing it up. Two. Last set, last set. Here we go. Two. Yes, we are done. Oh, so if your arms feel a bit, so do mine. Give me a shake. Very well done, everybody. We're going to regret that later, aren't we? Let's do a little bit of a stretch. You can sit down if you want to. Hands in front. Push those arms away. Big circle, yeah? Tuck your chin. And this is going to go to the back of the neck. The neck muscles work very closely with the arm muscles, the shoulder muscles, obviously. And they're quite often tight. Most of us, our neck muscles are quite tight. Your head's staying up quite all day. No wonder. Um, so this one, with the chin tucked, hold it for a length of time. So not just a few seconds. Keep it there. And I can feel, oh, lots of tension is all down the back of these neck muscles. Keep your hands pushed away. Are you sucking in your tummy? You should be. Hold it there. Breathe. Oh, and then release. Hands come behind, lace those fingers, push your shoulders back. You can if you want to, put your hands on your bottom instead. Same thing. Keep those shoulders pushing backwards, tummies are in. 
three. Well worked, everybody. Really well done. It's never an easy class doing arm stuff. But the thing is with arms, you do see the results. You see the results really quite well. You've got to keep at it. It helps with any muscle definition. A lower fat percentage will let you have clearer muscle tone. But if you're doing it because you just want stronger muscles, the tone, the look of it is irrelevant. You know, are your arms stronger? That's the question. Push that shoulder back, that elbow back. Hold it there. Hello, Terry. Are you joining us as well this morning? That is nice. Good. Well done. Give his arms a shake out. Just try and get to this top. Bring the hand across. Pull. Don't turn. So pull it across. Tummy muscles pulled in. Deep breaths. A little bit longer. I'm really pulling quite hard because I'm trying to stretch these muscles here. And if you just relax the arm, it's not going to stretch it. Other one, bring it across. Give it a pull. Ooh. Nice little bit. Is that all the bells ringing again? This one. You have all deserved a nice cup of coffee, so, or a cup of tea. Keep away from the biscuit barrel though. Don't have any biscuits, have a nice cup of tea, nice cup of coffee, piece of fruit if you've got some there. Oh, pull that shoulder through. Excellent, well done. Give yourself a shake out. Give yourself a clap, big breath in. Exhale, one more, big breath in. And exhale. Fabulous, everybody. Very, very well done. Do check out the content I'm putting on Facebook every day. Um, any suggestions for classes or anything like that, please tell me. You're always up for suggestions. We're going to be at this for a while, so let's kind of, you know, see what you fancy. You might fancy something that I haven't even thought about. So, have a good day, everybody. Enjoy yourselves. Do something positive for yourself, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye!